Hey there, I'm Sean from Lightstream. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to further customize your projects using third-party integrations. Third-party integration layers allow you to bring in dynamic content from other websites. Sites like Rainmaker, Streamlabs, and Stream Elements are great ways to showcase your recent subscribers, donations, stats from your game, and more. Personalized messages are a great way to engage your audience and encourage a more active participation in the stream. In this tutorial, we'll be going over just how easy these integrations are to add and use. Let's get started. Every stream integration works similarly in Lightstream. Each of them outputs stream graphics to a URL that you copy and paste into your scene. Start by adding a new layer and select third-party integrations. As you can see, there are a bunch of services available that you can add to your project. If you don't see the one you want to use, then you can try the browser source option, which will pull in any web link you paste into it. Some websites block embedding and will prevent them from loading in Lightstream. You'll have to experiment to see what works. For this video, I'm going to add a Rainmaker layer. Rainmaker is a full editor that supports interactions like alerts, tipping, and a chatbot. A placeholder for your content will appear in the canvas. Please note that the logo here will not display on stream. It's merely to demonstrate where the overlay will appear. This field is where we'll paste the URL from the overlay that you want to use. I've already set up an overlay in my project, so I'll hop over to Rainmaker and grab it. You can copy it from two different spots here. Once copied, you can bring it back over into your layer and paste it into the canvas. I can use the Rainmaker test functionality to send a test follower to make sure it's connected and placed where I want. You're all set up and you're ready to shout out your new followers. One last thing to note, third-party integration layers are unique in that they have two different sizing options. Dragging while resize area is selected changes the size of the box the content loads into. You can think of it as resizing your browser. If there's responsive content, it will adjust to fit the space available. Scaling will keep proportions of the overlay intact. See how everything proportionally gets smaller or larger as I drag? This is just one example of how to use third-party integration layers, but there are a bunch of options to add dynamic content to your stream, including adding your own custom overlay through the browser source layer. You should definitely play around and explore all options to see what best fits for your needs. If you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments below. For more personalized help, reach out via our in-app live chat. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.